Welcome back to another episode of Water, being watered in the word with branches. Glad that you guys can join us today. Make sure you like and subscribe to the video and to our YouTube page. That way you can be updated on new content that we come out with. We do these four times a week. This is the last video for this week. Um, but I hope that you continue to get into the word by yourself, right? Don't just use these videos to get into the word. Get in the word every single day and let it sanctify and purify you through the Lord's word. So today we're going to talk about thankfulness. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for this day. We thank you for being the awesome God of heaven and earth. We thank you for being um, our savior. We thank you for your love for us. We thank you for giving us um, the food that we need, the clothing to provide for us, Lord. We thank you for all the ways you've blessed us. We thank you for being in this country where we can worship freely. We thank you for our family that you've given to us. We thank you for being able to turn even the bad situations in our life and turning those into good. Lord, we thank you for just always being there with us, promising to never leave us or forsake us. We thank you that you always keep your promises, that you are a God that never changes. And we thank you most of all that you sent Jesus to save us from our sins. We love you, Lord, and we just thank you for this day. And I pray these things in your son's name. Amen. All right, so thankfulness. When is the last time you told somebody close to you, thank you? When's the last time you actually said, thank you? I want to thank you for what you've done for me, for who you are. When's the last time you actually thanked somebody? Especially those people that do the same things for you over and over and over again, right? So whether it's a teacher, right? Or whether it's a friend or whether it's a parent or a child or a spouse, people that normally do the same things for you. And we don't think to thank them a lot because we think, well, that's just they're being who they are. They're doing their job, et cetera, et cetera. But when's the last time you actually thanked somebody? Right. Usually it takes something pretty big for us to be thankful. Right. Someone giving us a big gift and being like, whoa, thank you. An unexpected gift. But when's the last time you thank somebody for just being your friend? Right. Just being around and hanging out with you and causing you to laugh and and just being there. When's the last time you thank someone for just doing their job? Right. You see someone cleaning up at your work or a maintenance person just saying thank you you know thanks for taking out the trash thanks for being there when's the last time you thanked your spouse for cooking or your parent for cooking or something like that something so small you know it, it, a lot of times it's easy for us to fall into areas of our lives where we're just not very thankful towards other people in our lives and it's very easy easy for us to fall into a situation where we're not thankful towards god even though God is constantly and consistently providing us with things for taking care of us, a lot of times we can get to the place where we're just not thanking him enough. We're not thanking him even for the small things he does for us. And it takes something huge that God does for us to really like, oh God, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Instead of just being thankful for him always, right? Well, this is where we're getting to in Luke chapter 17. So we're going to start in verse 11. And it came to pass as he, that's Jesus, went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, show yourselves unto the priest. And it came to pass that as he went, they were cleansed, and every one of them when he saw that he was healed, turned back, and with a loud voice they glorified God and fell. Oh, and when they were cleansed, sorry, verse 15. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. One of them. And verse 16, and he fell down on his face at his feet, at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answered and said, we're not ten cleansed, but where are the nine? 
There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. So here's a story. It's actually a very famous story in the Bible because of this idea of thankfulness. And yet, even though a lot of us have heard this story multiple, multiple times, I know I've been taught it ever since I was a little kid. I think just a while back, a few weeks ago, I taught Tekoa this story um, in one of our uh, Jesus storybooks that I was reading through and taught him about being thankful. And so it's something we have heard a lot, but man, it's something we have to be reminded of constantly. So here's the story. Jesus encounters these lepers, and lepers are people that have this skin-eating, flesh-eating disease, and eventually it kills you. It dismembers you, and it, and it kills you. And so here they are. They are people that are supposed to be totally separate from society. There was no cure known. And so if you were found to have leprosy, basically you are wrap your body up, go out into the wilderness, and see none, nobody ever again, and just wait to die. It was a very dismal outlook on life for you if you had leprosy. So Jesus is walking along and these lepers, these 10 lepers see Jesus and they recognize who he is. For some reason, we don't know exactly how, maybe they'd heard him teach before they had become lepers. Maybe one of them in the group knew Jesus closely in some way, but had gotten leprosy and then told these others. Anyway, they see Jesus and they start calling out to him, please heal us, please heal heal us. And they, they say in verse 13, Jesus, master, have mercy on us. Have mercy. That's their way of saying, please, we know you can heal us. Heal us. And so what happens is Jesus did so. He healed them. He said, go and show yourself to the priest. And that was their way of the priest was responsible for checking over their body to make sure they didn't have leprosy anymore before they can re-enter society. He says, go show yourself to the priest. And so they turn to do that, and immediately they're healed, completely healed. And so they all, of course, are excited. You can imagine how excited you would be at this time. But in verse 15, it makes a shift. Okay, in verse 15, it says, And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. So although all of them were cleansed, one of them realized what had just happened. He realized that he was cleansed, that he was healed. And so he turns around and he begins to glorify God. And he goes beyond that. So he sings this like, he just sings praise to God, glorifying God, shouting to God. And then he turns to Jesus, runs to him, bows down at his feet. And it says he gives him thanks. Gives him thanks. What's so powerful about this is the next statement that Jesus makes. He says, I thought I cleansed 10 of you, but where are the other nine? How come the other nine didn't glorify God? How come the other nine didn't come back to simply say, thank you? And he tells this man, your faith has made you whole. Go ahead and go depart now. That's what's so powerful about this one leper. This one leper chose to glorify God. He chose to say thank you to Jesus when the others just expected something from Jesus and went on their way. We can oftentimes be exactly like that, right? Sit down to eat. Why we pray for our food? It's, it's a way of saying thank you, God. Just in that moment, praying before you eat is a simple way of just taking pause and saying, God, I realize that this food is straight from you. Thank you. You know, we go throughout our day. How many of us go out on the road, right? And we drive out and we drive the whole day. We don't get into an accident. We don't get a flat tire and we make it home and we don't think anything of it. God clearly protected us the whole day. And yet we don't say, you know what? Thank you, God, for protecting me today. Just little things. It's little things. Even the air that we're breathing right now, right? We didn't make that air. <laughs> and God made it. He created it. He gave it to us. How many times have you just thanked God that he's keeping you breathing right now, that for the oxygen that he's given you? You know, God does so much for us. And it's so easy for us to become 
bitter in life, like we talked about in the last video, or become forgetful, or to get busy, or anxious about a lot of different things, instead of just being thankful. I know a lot of times we are struggling with what we need to do in life, what God's will for us is. And that's when we remember the verse that says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. That's what he literally says. He says, you know what? You want to know what God's will for you specifically is? In everything, give thanks. Be thankful in every situation for everything that God gives you. Be a thankful person. That's God's will. Today, how about this? How about just taking pause right now after this video? Before you move on with life, before you go on to the next thing, before you just end it and just forget about it, why don't you just take a few minutes right now today and just get a piece of paper and begin writing down everything that you could be thinking, think that you're thankful for right now in this moment and just begin praying about those things saying, God, thank you for this. Thank you for my family. Thank you for this thing. Thank you for that. Thank you for this. And just start thanking God. Next time you pray, don't just pray, God, help me with this, or God, get me out of this, or God, give me this. Next time you pray, say a whole prayer of just thanking God for what he has provided you for, what he has given you. We need to learn in our lives to be thankful consistently and always. Be thankful for the small things. Be thankful for the big things. Be thankful for everything in between. Just to adopt an attitude of thankfulness. And no matter what goes on in our lives, we can be thankful. Hope that you can remember to be thankful today. I hope you take those suggestions just right now after this video. Pause and pray and thank God for everything that he's doing for you. Remember that you are branches called to bear fruit in this world. So get out there, bear some fruit and bear fruit of thankfulness first. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Later days.